Today, Disney hosted the Disney Parks Experiences and Products panel at D23, and we got some major news that was released about the parks around the world. So first off, over at Disney World, the very first news of the panel, Happily Ever After, is slated to return sometime next year to the Magic Kingdom. No specific date was announced, but I'm assuming that Enchantment, the current show, will end its run when the 50th anniversary ends in March, and that Happily Ever After will take over from there. Tron was given an opening time frame of Spring 2023. Uh, host of the panel, Josh DeMauro, was able to take a test ride on the attraction, and he shared that footage with guests. Hatbox Ghost from Disneyland was announced to be coming to Disney World's Haunted Mansion next year in 2023. A new land is in the early stages of development at the Magic Kingdom. The space behind Big Thunder Mountain was teased to be a new land that would house areas themed to Coco, Encanto, and some Disney villains as well. Over at Epcot, Disney announced a new nighttime spectacular will be replacing Harmonious. It will be called 100 Years of Wonder, celebrating stories from 100 years of the Walt Disney Company. Moana Journey of Water received an opening time frame and is scheduled to be open in late 2023. Prior to the panel, D23 guests got a look at the new 16-foot-tall Te Fiti figure that will become a part of the new attraction. The story will use Moana's relationship with the water to convey the importance of water on the planet. Also at Epcot, guests will now be able to meet Figment for the first time in a long time beginning in 2023. At Animal Kingdom, a new land is in the early stages of development and was announced to be replacing the Dino Land USA area. This land would house two different areas, Zootopia and Moana, both being assured to be keeping the park theme as the intrinsic value of nature. It will be interesting to see what elements that they pull from those stories to, to keep with that park theme. At Disney World and Disneyland, guests were treated to a new look at Tiana's Bayou Adventure set to be replacing Splash Mountain at both parks. The concept art was released and it featured a brand new animatronic. A time frame of late 2024 was given for this attraction. Earlier at the expo, it was also announced that Disneyland would be getting Tiana's Palace in New Orleans Square, set to be replacing an existing restaurant. They have not announced what restaurant will be saying goodbye, but I really hope it's not Blue Bayou because I think that area is just perfect as it is. I guess we'll just have to wait and see. <laughs> Over at Disneyland, two nighttime spectaculars have been announced to celebrate the 100th anniversary of the company. Over at California Adventure, the park will debut a new edition of World of Color called World of Color One and span the storytelling over the first 100 years of the company and tell a new story with classic and new Disney characters. Over at Disneyland, there will be a new fireworks show called Wondrous Journeys and feature nods to all 60 Disney films. Both nighttime spectaculars will begin in late January. Avengers Campus and California Adventure will be receiving a third attraction in the land. This attraction will draw inspiration from the multiverse. Guests will team up with a wide array of Marvel characters and work together to defeat a new character, King Thanos. This version of Thanos is one from a scenario where he ultimately won in the end. Disneyland got a new look at the reimagined Toontown. It showed Donald's boat crashed into a pond. It also showed a little bit of Goofy's area as well. Within Toontown, we saw concept art of the queue for Runaway Railway, which will take guests on a journey of Mickey through the years, from Steamboat Willie to the present. At Star Wars Galaxy's Edge in Disneyland, guests will be able to meet a walk around Mandalorian and Grogu in mid-November. Those in attendance at D23 got a sneak peek of the character. Disney released a new look at uh, the reimagined Paradise Pier Hotel as it is transforming into what they call the Pixar Place Hotel. This hotel will pay homage to Pixar's most well-known characters. A look at the lobby showed the lamplight and the Luxo Ball and some artist renderings as a part of the decor. It reminds me a lot of art of animation over at Disney World. 
Pacific Wharf over in California Adventure will be transformed into San Francisco from the Big Hero 6 movie. Guests will have the opportunity to meet Baymax and there will be new spots for you to eat and buy merchandise. <clears throat> Run Disney Races will return to the Disneyland Resort beginning in 2024. And the Magic Happens Daytime Parade will be returning to Disneyland beginning in the spring of 2023. Moving on over to Disney Cruise Line, a new look at the sixth ship in the fleet has been released along with its name. It will be called the Disney Treasure and celebrate the idea of adventure. This will be the first Disney ship to feature more than one character in its atrium statue. On board the treasure, you will find Aladdin, Jasmine, and the flying carpet looking over the Grand Hall. This area is inspired by the grandeur and mystery of a gilded palace, drawing inspiration from places in Asia, Africa, and of course, Agrippa. Disney's second private island, Lighthouse Point, has some new concept art. This island will celebrate the Bohemian culture and cultivate it in an area where guests aboard the cruise line can enjoy. Additionally, Josh Tomorrow released a short video from the island, and this area looks gorgeous. Disney sure has a lot of work to do, but I imagine the end result will be breathtaking. As for the overseas parks in Paris, Shanghai, Tokyo, and Hong Kong, there were a lot of announcements for those parks and those will be covered in a separate video. So what was missing from the parks panel? I was really expecting an opening date for Fantasmic at Disney World. I've heard that cast has been rehearsing, so to not hear anything about it at D23 so far has been really shocking. Um, also, I was expecting some nighttime parade announcement, either at Disneyland or Disney World, uh, the Main Street Electrical Parade just ended its run at Disneyland, so I almost expected Disney to announce a run of it at Florida and for Paint the Night to come back to Disneyland, but um, I don't know. The expo isn't over yet, and I know the Electrical Parade has its own panel today, so I guess we'll see what happens. I'm very excited for Tron, the new Figment meet and greet, and I'm really curious to see what they do with the new Epcot nighttime show. I know the barges in the center of the lagoon have been a complaint of many, so I'm wondering if the new shows will even incorporate them, if they might pull them out and give us an unobstructed view again. So no matter what happens, I'm really looking forward to seeing all of these new things announced and how they do in the parks. So what are your thoughts on all of the new announcements today? What are you most excited about? I would love to hear your thoughts. I hope this video helped you plan your next trip. Thank you so much for watching. Have a wonderful day.